Hey, welcome to this month's look at upcoming JRPG and JRPG inspired games. First on the menu is Made in the Abyss, Binary Star Falling into Darkness, because long titles were in this month. Experience the anime story of Rico and Reg, or Reg. I never watched the anime myself, so I'm not sure. As they explore the abyss in search of fantastic creatures and adventure. They even managed to get the original voice cast to come in and voice the characters once again, which is pretty cool. The game itself looks to be very cute, albeit with a hint of darkness from what I've seen in the trailers, like hidden under the surface, or maybe not so hidden. It's an action RPG, and while it doesn't look like it's bringing anything new to the genre, it looks like it could be fun and competent. It's being developed by Chime Corporation and published by Spike Chonsoft, releasing on the 2nd of September for PS4, Switch and PC. Next up, we have Temtem. This game is what happens when you finally make Pokemon an MMO. It has all the classic features of Pokemon, such as creature capturing, battling with them, your dojos, which are your gyms, and a group of never-do-wells to stop from doing bad things. But it's all wrapped up in an online world with other players. And you can do things like co-op adventures, battle competitively, and even customize your own house. So, try and become the world's greatest Temtem trainer, not Pokemon trainer. It's leaving early access on September the 6th for all modern consoles and PC. Bring your own squad or crank up the challenge and select from four random Temtem with special items in this all-you-can-fight survival mode. The more you win, the harder your opponents get and the bigger the prizes become. Grab a friend and team up to tackle the Digilair, where you'll battle foes in custom-built matches to earn a Temtem egg as a reward. Wild Temtem are on the loose in the Tem Safari, and they're just itching for a fight. Choose from different categories of Temtem each week to build the ultimate squad in the Ultimate Temtem Challenge. Step up your tamer game by climbing to the top of the ever-shifting tower. Choose your starting Temtem and fight your way through an evolving maze of rooms and battles to reach the pinnacle of success. The more rewards you earn, the more you'll have to spend at the most exclusive shopping center in the Airborne Archipelago. Here you can buy everything a tamer needs for battle or for creating that perfect abode for you and your Temtem. With new weekly activities and tons of fun new cosmetics, you'll never run out of ways to level up your Tamer Pass. Plus, with the introduction of a new season and theme every few months, you're guaranteed to have tons of awesome goodies to choose from. The fun never ends in Tamer's Paradise, and there's even more to come. It's time to prove you have what it takes to be a top Tamer. It's time to Tem Tem Up.
I have a real bad feeling about this. Gotta hurry! Next we have an interesting title called Jack Moo. It's a modern pixel art cyberpunk JRPG inspired game that sees you take on the role of a vigilante hacker who attempts to save her estranged father from an evil corporation. Because, you know, cyberpunk means every corporation is evil. Depending on your view, that might even apply to current day. So explore cyberpunk themed dungeons and using a turn based battle system inspired by the classics to defeat a multitude of foes. Coming to PC on September the 8th and consoles on the 20th. <laughs> Next is Diofield Chronicle. So this is the game I'm most personally interested in for this month, Diofield Chronicles. It's a modern take from Square on the SRPG, or you know, strategy RPG genre, such as Final Fantasy Tactics and the like. But this time we're losing the grid, Crylancer style, for a more serious tactical action, while keeping that complex political intrigue that we've come to expect from this genre. It's coming to pretty much everything on September 22nd. If we pursue them now... We'll hold them here! We have a path now. Taste my heel! Jade has been used as a catalyst for ancient sorcery since before records began. It is bountiful here on Dio Field, but not on the mainland, where it fetches a pretty penny. A resource war looms on the horizon. The terms they proposed were simply unacceptable. True shame. This is a predicament of your own making. I am well prepared. All I wish for is to keep fighting alongside you. Our time will come. We must be patient. To right this kingdom's wicked path, I ask you all to lend me your strength. Oh, it's too much. I simply can't resist any longer. That has made me realize that I have lost sight of what I am fighting for. Surely you know what has become of the ordinary people of my area. How did you come to be so well versed in ancient sorcery? Enough of this. We must be united against the Empire. Is it not obvious? We must bring the traitor to justice. So what will he believe in? Next up, Legend of Heroes, Trails from Zero. We finally get to experience the next Legend of Heroes game, Trails from Zero. Is it the next one? Or is it in the middle between two others? It's a mess. <laughs> the game is the first in the now legendary Crossbell arc. Uh, 
Earth Games. We see take on the role of Lloyd Bannings as he follows his late brother's footsteps and joins the Crossbar Police Force in an attempt to make the city a better place. It's a turn-based battle system, very much like the other Legend of Heroes games. It's coming to PS4, Switch and PC on September 27th. I'm out here looking for something. Despite the world being in the state it is. Valkyrie, heed my words. Ragnarok tells Next we have Valkyrie Elysium. The Valkyrie series steps away from its turn-based nature and into a more action RPG realm from its next acting from Square. We're gonna take on the role of a brand new Valkyrie for this game. It was once more tasked with preparing for Ragnarok. This game is looking to be beautiful and the combat system looks to be fast and fluid, but we shall see if it stands up to its turn based predecessors. It's coming to PS4 on 5 September 29th, with the PC version coming slightly later. Glory. I've no interest in that. There's nothing left for me in this world. I just want a chance to make things right. My name is Christopher. I have protected this land and its people as my forefathers did before me. Very well. Then I pledge my loyalty as your inheritor until the very end. You are a being of divine power, are you not? Please, would you hear my plea? My name is Tycho. It was once my duty to watch over this land. Wretched soul. By Odin's command. You shall be purified. So this is one of the four gifts. If I had to guess, I'd say this was Gunganir. Engrave it upon your soul. Divine assault! Nibelung Valesky! Please allow me to conduct a small test of your metal! Little Valkyrie, I have no intention of harming you. I failed to warn you of her. Our adversary was once a second class Icea. She goes by the name Fenrir. I I merely wish for the world to continue existing. And lastly, we have Sword Art Online Alicization Lycoris. What on earth is that title? I don't. Why? Why? Why do that to us? So, it's not to be outstaged by Square, Bandai are also releasing an action RPG at the end of the month, the next Sword Art Online game. This game follows the trends of the other Sword Art games, where you 
waking up as a person in a digital world the, the whole iseki or isekai kind of genre this time you play as Kurito as he tries to understand what has happened to him and why this all feels familiar <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so there's some interesting games coming out, some, a couple from Square, which are usually big titles, and um, what are you looking forward to? Please put it in the comments, and we'll see you again next time.